Turning now to a story that has a Detroit neighborhood shaken up. A four-year-old girl in the hospital. Police say she found a gun and accidentally shot herself. Let's get right to 7 Action News reporter Smitha Koloki. Smitha, we're hearing the girl's condition is improving tonight. That's right, Joanne. That is the good news out here today. Now, she was in stable condition all night long, but this afternoon we are told that she has been upgraded to good. Now, her uncle tells me that uh, she was in great spirits throughout all of this. In fact, she was the one comforting her parents as they drove her to the hospital. But still around this neighborhood, folks want to know, how did this happen? He's real good with the kids. and. I don't, just don't see how this could happen. Kelly Sager heard a gunshot cut through the darkness around 1145 last night in the 20,400 block of Monte Vista. It happens so often, you just kind of like don't get up and go see what's going on anymore. If she had gotten up, she would have been surprised to find the victim was her four-year-old neighbor who had just shot herself in the lower body. The child's uncle declined an on-camera interview, but says the girl's father had parked his truck outside of this house when he went to pick up his daughter from her grandparents. The father, who has a permit to carry a handgun, took the weapon off and put it on the seat before meeting the child because he thought she would greet him by jumping on him. But when the girl's mother went to roll up the windows, the child somehow got into the vehicle and shot herself in the thigh. I'm surprised to see he wasn't to hear that he wasn't more careful because they overprotective over their kids. Neighbors say the family didn't wait for help. Instead, they rushed the child to the hospital in their own car. She's resting at DMC Children's Hospital, where she's expected to make a full recovery. And at this time, we're told that the father feels extremely guilty about all of this. Uh, we're told that he would never do anything to hurt his only daughter. She, however, is uh, expected to stay in the hospital one more night. That is according to family members as they continue to uh, heal her wound there. For now, from Detroit's West Side, Smitha Kloki, 7 Action News. Joanne? Oh, you can't imagine how badly that father must feel, but it sounds like it could have been prevented in some way, Smitha. You know, it sure can. And even her uncle said that, you know, Parents should be sure to lock their guns, keep them out of reach, and, you know, for anybody who is looking to get a lock on their gun, the Detroit Police actually offers free gun locks. We have more information about all of that on our website at WXYZ.com. All right, Smitha, thank you very much for the information. Detroit Police do tell us that the investigation is ongoing. Once it's wrapped up, they'll send the details over to the prosecutor's office, who will then determine if any charges could be filed in the case.